All right, welcome back everyone. It's Noha here, and in this video we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one I'll be showing you guys how to get the Legendary COV Pistol, the Linoge. Now the red text for this weapon says, My name is Legion, for we are many. Plus 10% critical hit damage, consumes 3 ammo per shot, plus 40% melee damage, 2.5 times weapon zoom. This one's also anointed. Damage is 509 times 4. Accuracy is 20%, handling is 58%, reload time is 3.3 seconds, fire rate is 8.95 a second, with a 39 shots to break. So uh, this one is corrosive, but you can also get one that deals fire damage and radiation damage. Those are the only three elements you can get. You cannot get one that deals no element. Now in order to get this weapon, we're going to be killing Lavender Crawley, which is one of the little crew challenges, uh, legendary hunts for Hammerlock. You're going to come right here to the droughts, and you're just going to follow where I go right here on the map. It's very simple to get there. You're going to have to spawn right here at this location every single time you want to farm it, get a vehicle, and drive over here because there's no, like, save station that I know of that's close to this place. But it's honestly, it's not that bad of a drive. Like, it, each kill, on average, will probably take you about a minute, minute, 30 seconds. That's pretty much it. But the thing about this kill is that I don't really show it here in the first clip. I actually don't get it to drop. But here's Lavender Crawley. He'll come out of that cave. And once you, uh, you'll you get his first, uh, you'll get like the bigger Varkid of himself down to like low health. And he'll pot up and he'll split up into two more. And then once you get those two low, they will pot up. And each one of those will split off two from each one of those. So you'll have four chances in the end to actually get this weapon to drop. From four different uh, like miniature Varkids once they get through potting up, so you will get four chances each try to get this weapon. So it's uh it's obviously not it's it's not that bad of a farm. And uh, there's actually like I think they dropped two other weapons. I think one of the weapons I know they dropped is the Predatory Lending, which we will be doing a video on very very soon. Now whenever you notice whenever you shoot this weapon, the the shots to break is actually pretty low. So you're gonna be the gun's gonna be breaking a lot, but it's not too bad. It, it it fixes itself pretty quick. You can fix it pretty quickly. And this weapon is very good. I really like this weapon. Uh, it, this uh, most of the time I use the fire. I've had a fire one on me for a long time, and now I got this corrosive one. This one deals pretty good damage too, especially against the armor. And it, you see, it shoots off a bunch of pellets whenever you fire it, and they and it uh, it does really good damage. It's really it's not the most viable weapon against Grave Ward, but still, this weapon actually does pretty good damage against Grave Ward and other, you know, big bosses because of how many pellets it shoots out. So yeah, th this weapon is pretty good, but it's mainly going to be better on, like, bigger targets like Grave Ward, so all of your pellets hit. You're going to want all of those pellets that you're firing out in, like, a really, like, wide range to be hitting. You don't want really a lot of them to be missing, that's why I'm saying that. Uh, the bigger the boss, the bigger the enemy you're fighting, the more uh, the better this weapon's going to do. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.